Howdy folks, Sunny and South. Hope everybody doing real good. Chicken chasseur on the menu this evening. Sometimes referred to as Hunter's Chicken. This is a great old French classic. Goes back a long ways. It's a rather rustic meal. Very filling. Absolutely delish. I got four chicken thighs, four drumsticks back there. Skin on, bone on. We're going to get them coated up in some chicken bouillon for some extra seasoning. Make them extra good. Going to get them tossed in a little flour. Browned off in a skillet. And while that's browning off in the skillet, we'll start putting together the base for this braising sauce. It ends up being our, our, our hunter style gravy or hunter sauce that this is served with. For that, you're going to need a shallot, some chopped up uh, carrots. Going to need about four to six ounces of sliced mushrooms. Those are portobello mushrooms. Gonna need a little tomato paste, some chicken broth, some white wine, the star of the show, tarragon, fresh tarragon. Gonna need a tablespoon of that. Gonna need a little thyme, minced garlic. We're gonna finish off with some parsley and butter once this is braised up and extra good. Got a little cognac here. We're gonna deglaze that skillet once that chicken is done browning off. Get those drippings off into the Dutch oven. This is gonna be a two-pot cook. Gonna need a Dutch oven, a large, large pot and a skillet. Let's get to cooking. First thing we're going to do is get this chicken coated up with a little bit of oil. I'm going to put a little avocado oil in here. Just kind of toss that around a little bit. Get a little oil on this chicken. And we're going to get some uh, chicken bouillon powder sprinkled on here. And that's a uh, Chef Marco Pierre White technique. Just takes the chicken a little over the top. A little sprinkled in here. And get everything nicely coated. flour than that and we're not going to season this flour because we seasoned the chicken we're just going to lightly dredge this chicken I like that right there just a nice light coating of flour on the chicken it's going to Give us a little golden brown color, and it's also going to help thicken this sauce as it cooks. And on these thighs, I went through and trimmed some of that skin up. And there's quite a bit on there. It's kind of hanging and in the way. Looking pretty good. Get my hands washed up and then we'll get us a skillet going. And I'm going to brown this chicken up in clarified butter. If you don't have clarified butter, just use a good high smoke point cooking oil. We're going to lay these chicken thighs skin side down. Now you can use skinless chicken if you want to. But I like the skin on mine. And we're going to brown this up pretty slow. And that allows the fat out of the skin to render so you don't end up with, you know, chewy skin. And we're over about a medium to medium low heat. And we're just going to let this sizzle here until it's nice and brown and then we'll turn it and do the other side. I'll tell you what, this chicken's smelling real good sauteing here in this clarified butter. 
the chicken bouillon just really enhances this chicken and you can definitely smell it. We're going to start getting this braising sauce put together while this chicken is sauteing up a little bit. We'll get some olive oil in the pot. We're going to get our mushrooms in here. Put a little salt in them, speed up the water extraction process. We'll put a little pep in there too. Put some pepper on it. We're going to let these saute here till we get the water out of them. Look at all that water come out of there. A little bit of salt does the trick. Now we got the mushrooms cooked down there a little bit. Got most of the water out of them. We're going to go in with some shallots. A little butter in here. I'll let them shallots cook here a minute or two. Yeah, they've been cooking there a minute or two. Let's get us some garlic in here about a heaping tablespoon of garlic. I'm going to put these chopped carrots in. I'm get some thyme in here. This is dried thyme. Let's do about, we'll do about a teaspoon of dried thyme. We're going to get us some white wine in, about a cup. We're going to get this fresh chopped tarragon in, a tablespoon. We're going to let this bubble here a few minutes, cook that alcohol off of the wine. Chicken looking real good. Nice golden brown. It's just been bubbling there a minute or two. We're going to go in with some tomato paste. It's about a tablespoon. Let's just add a little body to this braising sauce. I'm going to put a little more in there. I don't like how it's looking. A couple of teaspoons. We're going to take this chicken and lay it in here. Get us some broth in, chicken broth. About two and a half, three cups of chicken broth. We're going to put us some browning sauce in here. About a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons. And over here, I'm going to pour off the grease. We're going to leave behind the goodies. Put cognac in there. A little broth. Let's 
scrape this here a little bit make sure we get all these goodies out of here we're gonna put this in the pot we're gonna give us a little pinch to a salt in here that was a low sodium chicken broth I was using we'll just salt that up a little We'll taste the sauce at the end, make final adjustments as usual. We gotta get some parsley and butter in there to finish it off anyhow. We got this up to a real gentle simmer. I'm just gonna try to make sure all my chicken is in the goodies. We're going to let this simmer about 45 minutes to an hour until that's real good and tender. See y'all back shortly. We've been going about an hour. Let's see if our chicken is tender. Oh, nice and tender. Very tender. It's going to be extra good. give this sauce a taste. Oh boy, that is good. Don't fool with that too much at all. Put a little parsley in here. It's just dried parsley. Drop us a little butter in. Turn the heat off on this. I got some taters roasting up. We're gonna get this on a platter and then get us some dinner plated up. That's a good looking hunter's chicken right there. Get it plated. Let's get in here and see what it's talking about. Mmm, oh my goodness. That is delish. Man, that sauce is outstanding. Chicken very tender. A tarragon, I'm telling you, just makes that sauce super good and it's like a chicken stew it's cooked in a similar manner as cuckoo vin the cuckoo vin is chicken braised in a red wine and it's a little sweet this is very savory And it is outstanding. And go good with some mashed taters. That's it, folks. Chicken Cheshire. Or Hunter's Chicken. A delicious French classic.
Till next time. Peace.